And we are back with Tuesday Night Pro Scrims Complexity. They got some of the best capture flag gameplay I've ever seen. Yeah, you know, the capture the flag game is all about teamwork, like we were saying. And, you know, right now, Complexity probably has the best uh, teamwork and communication in the game. You think that's a little biased of you to say? It probably is, but, you know. I do you, think they have the best teamwork, though. If you, if you listen in to a lot of our team chats and just watch when we play, we, we communicate a lot more than a lot of the other teams. All right, so it's going to be stand-up hard point. I'm looking at TP. He doesn't have flag check, and instead he's opting to use hardwired here, which is a class that I'm seeing a lot more people use. They're choosing to use hardwired along with top fist, you know, using that perk to agree. Yeah, you know, what are the kind of advantages you get with this? We're seeing a ton of EMP use lately, you know, because a lot of people are running a lot of stuns, and uh, in return, people are running a lot of trophies. So now we're starting to see more people use tons of EMPs, which is... While wow, you're seeing a lot of hardwire use, which t to not have that mini map and not have a lot of the other things, the little things that hardwire that EMPing somebody it does, I mean, it's huge. I mean, whenever we're with the team chat and somebody gets EMP, they're like, guys, I'm EMP, I don't know what's going on, tell me what's happening. So I definitely see, you know, why teams are using hardwire, and, you know. I personally think that the EMP, it's probably the best tactical grenade in, in the game. Yeah, I think EMPs are definitely the best tactical in the game. I mean, it takes away the map, it takes away where your teammates are, it takes away even like little things like wh which hard point it is or where is it, the time left on it. It, it, it. And it even does a little bit of damage and it gives that little I've extra... I've seen a lot of people die by EMP grenades. Yeah, I see them die by EMP oh, grenades and I also see that little flinch that it gives. Effect a lot of shots, so EMPs are extremely useful on so many different levels. Do you know how long an EMP grenade lasts for? The actual time? It lasts for around like 13 seconds, one EMP. That is a, that is a long time. So yeah. if you were to get double EMP, that's almost for half of the hill time. Especially if they time it perfectly? We've yeah, that's, that's 26 seconds. That's about, yeah, it's about half of the hill you can be EMP'd, which I mean, that's, that's not good. <laughs> I don't want to be EMP'd for even five seconds, let alone 26. No, I think, I think being EMP'd is one of the most annoying the things that can happen. And if you're getting constantly EMP'd the whole game, it's extremely frustrating. Yeah, especially if you don't have a hardwired class. So that's why we're seeing a lot of teams choose to bring these ones out. But Tarpoint on staff, you just saw Curse. They're going to take the lead here. I'm on board with Crimbot right now. He's going to find one on the staircase. There goes Blindfire. Going to try to lead the way into the hard point, but he gets picked apart right there from Complex. But a top on board with Twist because he's the guy doing damage inside the hard point. Oh, if he picks up that kill, I think he gets some streaks. But who's it going to be re entering the hard point? It's actually going to be taking for complexity, taking control. And Around 25 seconds remaining. I'm looking for both these teams to at least start rotating. You see Curse, they're getting the better spawns right now. Yeah, I was going to say, you'd like to see both teams start rotating at about that 20 second. And it looks like Curse spawns completely all at red. And it's going to be a, basically a one on four battle at the hay bales right now. But if Krim is able to pick up one kill, that's going to force the Curse member who died to spawn out right next to TP. But as Krim is the first one to die, actually, you saw Americo spawn so far away. So now Complexity, they have an opportunity here to try to pick the Harpoint. But oh no, it looks like Americo is going to do some damage from behind. Finds one trying to make it too, but just forcing the forcing Clayson to turn around right there is damage up, just slowing down the Complexity push as much as they can. Yeah, but if you, if you notice on your minimap, you still see that Curse was spawning in that deep, deep back alley, but not anymore. It looks like they're spotting in the back alley behind green, which is where you'd like to be. And I'd like to see a push from both sides right now for Complexity to try and break this. You're not going to break this hill just flooding in through packages. It's not going to work. You're well, gonna now they got the spawns streaks. to do it. But I get, now they have the spawns to get in there, but it's going to be, you're going to need to get a guy up top from that other side. That's how you're going to break this hill. It doesn't look like they're just making the intro kills. I mean, despite that first initial push, they haven't gotten close to the hard point since. So you see Complex, he's seen up. I wonder if anybody from Curse has acquired any streaks. Maybe Blindfire? No, nope, I don't so believe no so. Streaks. So, you know, the, to not give up streaks there, you're extremely fortunate because hard you're kind of feeding a little bit. You're kind of going one-on-one on one yeah. over and over again. Well, Complex has a lightning up. strike and a Hellstorm missile to use. How effective do you think they are on this map? Those two streaks, particularly. I like the lightning strike a hell of a lot more than the, the Hellstorm missile. Yeah. Just for the sole reason, it's, it's so easy to break the anchor as soon as you call in the streaks. I mean, on this map, except for this middle hard point, you can't use score streaks to break the hard point itself. So you use it to break the anchor position mm -hmm. and then take control of the spawn. And here's, here's another interesting thing that we were talking about uh, pregame is you see BL Fire is playing all the way at 
the Tractor. He's over, he, and I believe Complexity was spawning at green, so that's something to look at. And now he gets, now he spawns at a good spawn back in the barn. But the spawn you really want to control is the one you're currently, the one he currently is at. You pro you didn't want to control that area in Tractor because that could lead to you spawning Grandma. I feel like he still wants to be aggressive around the map. That's why he's using the AN-94 years because he just wants to be in the opponent's face. I mean, that's where blind fire really shines oh, boy, when he's able to be kind of that huddle for your team, an aggressive assault rifle player. So he's going to try to maintain the aggressiveness with the A94, but he's still in charge of getting his spawns for his team. But it looks like it's working out so far as they have around a 50-point lead heading into the second green hard point. And Complex, I still think he, yeah, he's got a health stream as to use. And this is another map. I mean, I was talking about score streaks to break the anchor player, but defensive score streaks are definitely a viable option oh, here as well. Yeah, on this map, especially because you can spawn people extremely far out, that to use these streaks defensively is definitely a smart play. But I think you also see, I believe, I saw Ake shooting a War Machine, so I believe he actually has full streaks. He had full streaks too, so it, it, the streak battle is kind of even right now. If, you know, this is actually a big contest from Twiz. If you see right there, yeah, that time is huge right there. That 15 seconds, if they can hold this next uh, hill before it pops, that's huge for Curse. Complexity, they're going to need around at least 45 seconds here to call this text uh, a good hard point or a hard point win for them. I mean, they just need to get time here and cut into the lead that Curse currently have. So it's going to be Aches. He's going to be the guy inside the harbor. And I think they could, he could actually switch out with TP here and Aches could start pushing up the back eye. But it looks like they're comfortable for the time being. As you see, Curse, they do want to push through the alleyway here. TP, he does get taken out on top right on board to Aches because now he's going to be the one inside the action. Finding players coming up the stairs. There goes Miracles, but here comes Twits as well. And Blindfire, good juggle by Ace. He's going to try to get some more score streaks than he does, but... I mean, he's just working for another War Machine at this point. Yeah, but, uh, you know, another War Machine would be pretty huge. And right now, Complexity is getting tons of time on this hill. They're going to get the rest of it. Look at the mini-map. Yeah, they're going to get the rest of this time. And right now, if you're Complexity, you need to be rotating early, and you need to be communicating. I'd use a Lightning Strike here. You need to be communicating with Aix on when to use that Lightning Strike. All right, so you see the Complexity members. They're going to start pushing up. And once they get around towards... That front gas station, the green warehouse, I'm looking for Aix to start calling in one of his score streaks. But keep in mind, if he gets the War Machine, that's probably the best score streak you could have when you're trying to break the next hard point. Hard gets one kill there, so he's very close. Yeah, you know, right now I think they just need to push up and get in position, and then they're going to use these streaks. But it looks like it's going to be called in right now. All right, so it's going to get called down. Does pick up one. There goes Blind Fire. So Aix, he's getting ever so close to picking up that War Machine as he's going to jump through up top. And this, he's going to be the guy in charge of breaking the hard point. His teammates, they're going to put our pressure through hay bells. But here comes Aix leading the way, checking all of the scores. Just find the kill, taking control of the hard point. And now Aix, he's got a war machine to use. But look at the man, Matt. You see all the players from Curse. They're going to be coming up through the hay bell side of the map. But Curse, they only have a 30-point lead. Yeah, you know, only up 30 seconds. And it looks like we're, we might, if they can hold this, we're going to have a tie game going into this next half. Next, the second half. And did that guy just got shot down, that health? Shot down or EMP'd. Either one works there. But nonetheless, Aix sees that hey they're gonna be trying to make a split push here so we gotta be conscious of holding down both doors and now he's gonna turn around oh no Ace turn around oh uh, he almost did the dirty to twiz right there you know what that though that those last two hills only I mean, two, two just seconds made up in the end. tons of time yeah it's only two seconds and i mean right now it's gonna be huge for complexity and it's also gonna be big for curse if you it's gonna cycle through their classes. They gotta all be running flak jacket because they can't afford to get war machined out of this middle hill. Oh man, if somebody else from complex area is able to earn some score sheets, even if Aix is able to double up once again, he's got no more war machine grenades to shoot at his opponent. So let's go on board with somebody who's gonna be inside the hard point. That's gonna be Teep finding two players over near the owl wall, but I'm gonna hop back on board with Aix because now he's gonna be the guy in charge of making these intro kills into the hard point. Yeah, and I mean these hard intro point. kills on hard point are huge. I mean, oh, 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 oh. no. But, you know, uh, to get those intro kills into the hill, I mean, people don't realize what a difficult task that is for some of the, some of the objective players like, like TP and Rambo. To get those intro kills is extremely difficult. Well, you see, Clayton here is able to earn a Hellstorm missile. Now it's only a 10-point game. Curse's lead. They're up by around 50, 60 points at one point in time. But now it's coming down to the final hard point. Hellstorm missile does get called in by Clayster, but he was taken out while calling it in. And you see TP, he's dead out in the water right here. He's all alone, no support from any of his teammates. So he's an easy kill for Curse as they're trying to hold on to their lead here. There's only 35 seconds remaining. Complexity, they got to get into the hard point right now. Yeah, they got to get in right now. But, you know, it doesn't look like they're, they're spawning extremely far out. It doesn't look like they're going to have a chance to get into this hard point. I mean, valiant effort by Complexity, but it is now mathematically impossible. Curse Gaming, they're going to hold on, but take a look at these stats. 
10 captures, 6 defense for Aix, who finishes 36 and 25. I mean, just wasn't enough for his team as you see the guys from Curse. It looks like it was Complex leading the way there at 31 and 23 with 6 defense. Yeah, just a ton of slaying from Curse, you know. Great game from Twiz with all that objective work. And I believe it was uh, Complex who had mm -hmm. a lot of those kills too. So, great games from them. And you know, if you, if you go behind and hard point at the beginning of the round, it's so difficult to come back from that. The first, the first two or three hills really determined that whole flow of the game. I mean, complexity, you know they're getting a whole lot of momentum towards the end of that game, but coming down to that final green hard point, as soon as they spawned out over near the package side of the map, it was just about over for them. Their comeback was cut down a bit short. Yeah, I mean, to spawn over in that package, and you really only have one choice is to go through red building. It's, uh, it's almost impossible to break through there. I mean, nice try by complexity in the end, though, but they're going to lose the map as Curse. They go up 3-1 to one overall in this series, so they... They are looking so strong right now. The next map, it's going to be Raid Search and Strip. We're going to head to a quick break, but stay tuned. And also, keep tweeting out the stream. We're going to be giving away some Game Battles premium codes, but we're going to a break first.